As part of measures towards finding lasting solutions to the rampant cases of domestic and sexual violence, the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency has taken the crusade to the doorsteps of religious leaders in the state. Plus TV News correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun reports that the leaders were engaged on the need to inculcate prevention among their congregations. This is the engagement on prevention of domestic violence in Lagos State organized by the State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA. The program is aimed at reducing all forms of violence among couples in the state to the barest minimum. Titi Lyo Vivo Adeniyi is the Executive Secretary, Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency. She is worried about the alarming rate of violence among civil married couples in the state. We know that religious clerics, the religious institutions, religion itself is very potent. It has the ability to shape mindsets and behaviors. And so we felt that it was important for us to proactively engage religious institutions, but with a view of preventing domestic violence from occurring in the first instance. And we're looking at a situation where we're able to partner with these religious, religious institutions in bringing or introducing compulsory premarital counseling. The executive secretary disclosed that the SVA 2022 findings revealed that about 70% of survivors have previously reported to their pastor or their imam before coming to report to the agency. Other facilitators described SGBV as a social disruptor that affects the equilibrium of the society. Sometimes checking your husband's phone or your, um, your spouse's phone, demanding for their password, is technological abuse. So um, premarital counseling will guide us, will help us understand what all these are and being able to prevent them by attending all the premarital counseling section. Our role really is in terms of creating awareness to the end of preventing the issues. You know, there's a way you're creating awareness. We're talking about the issues, we're talking about what is going on, we're talking about what is happening. Yes, and it is good so that people know that these things are happening. But the issue of creating awareness with the aim of ensuring that this thing is prevented. So some of the participants share their experience about the engagement. Cancelling is a continuous thing. It's not just a curative action, it's a preventive action. Preventive action in the sense that we have to engage our teenagers and the young people among us. I take counseling very, very, premarital counseling very, very important. And some, these are some of the areas where I concentrate on. So, but for me, it has been added, you know, an added knowledge to what I know. And for me, it tells me that what I've been doing before is good. The consensus here is that premarital counseling as a guide could just be the magic wand required to eradicate the trend from among the people. Permanently. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.